What's up everyone, welcome to Renders and Blender, so this is the first episode, so in this video I'm gonna break down this TV scene right, as you can see right now So, let's get into it So let me just open up the file real quick And there is it So This is a simple scene When you think about it, because These models are all from Polyhaven Asset Store and like mostly all of them except for the textures maybe which are applied to these planes which are like walls and floor and apart from that like you have these textures which are applied to the, these two planes which are from cc0 textures which is now known as you know ambientcg.com which is pretty famous right so we are from that so first let's talk about composition so if you take a look at the image from like or the, or the scene from the camera you can see that it looks crowded as expected that's what i wanted so here if i just to, uh, click on the analogy tool just to you know so if you just look at the image right here you can see lines right this line is po pointing towards the subject which is the tv right and the stop part of this console is also pointing towards the TV, right? And if I draw a straight line from this point to this point like this, they, this is roughly the places where the boxes are placed. So this also points towards the subject, which is the TV, right? So I try my best to follow this composition rule where the objects which are surrounding the main subject has lines or guides the viewer's eye to the main subject so subconsciously when you're looking at the image uh, you will first be guided towards the main subject of the scene which is the TV then secondly and thirdly you will see the other parts of the image which is exactly what I wanted so I highly encourage you to incorporate that into your next render it's gonna take it to the next level so in my opinion at least so that is the main composition check that i used another one that i used is uh, if i just click on the camera and go to the object data properties of the camera and then go to viewport display then composition guides and click on this option which is the thirds there are a lot of options right here but the most simple one in my opinion is the rule of thirds so if I just click on that, you can see that uh, there are some lines. Maybe you may not be able to see those lines from because of the YouTube compression, but hope you can see that. So this just makes like nine triangle rectangles or something in the camera like or in the image. And this point where the these lines meet, right? These points, right? These two points are these points actually anyone is fine so these points where these both lines meet is the points where you want your subject to be and that's just the rule that is followed and that technically should guide the viewers you know eyes towards the subject first uh, so that you can just make sure that the viewer sees the subject first that's it so if you look at my image or my render you can see that my subject is in fact mostly positioned at that point or at that yeah at that point and uh, when you look at the image this is the part that you see first right then you're gonna see the books then other stuff right uh, oh, sorry then you're gonna see the like the game controllers and the console then the books and so on right so yeah so it's really like the composition can add a lot of, you know, weight to your image. And um, through the scene, I tried storytelling. So let's get into that. So through the scene, I wanted to tell a story of like a uh, person who is moving, like or uh, preparing for moving from this house and probably from their parents house or something. And they are like in the process of moving so there are stuff around like this like these are all the stuff because that are piled up around 
them because they're moving, right? And at the same time, at the night, they are playing video games. So that is why, like, this thing, like the, the console, the controllers, and the TV are placed there. So I just wanted to tell that story. Like, they love really video games, and they, they were just playing video games. And now they have unplugged everything and, you know, go on to mind their business, right? In my opinion, I have kind of achieved that. So that is why I have put these boxes, special, especially, and also these books here. And yeah, these are all from the Polyhaven Asset Store. Just scroll like to the Asset Store, you'll find some great models that can, like, uh, when put together, tell a great story. And in my opinion, this was uh, like a really great opportunity to do so, to tell the story through a render. And yeah, I think it turned out really good. So if you take a look at the lighting, there are only three area lights which are lighting the whole scene. And yeah, that's really obvious from the like actual render itself because it's pretty dark uh, because it's I wanted to show that it's nighttime or something or just the lights were off for some things, you know, and yeah, I just wanted to give that mystery vibe as well. So yeah. And uh, the reason I used an area light, I have placed this area light right here instead of just, uh, you know, putting an emission shader on the screen of the TV is because uh, that would produce a lot of noise. Like if you assign an emission shader to a mesh or something, it's gonna make your render really noisy and stuff. So you don't want to do you don't want to do that. So that's why how you like turn down the emission value. There's still an emission shader. But the value of that is like pretty low and uh, yeah, so but I still wanted the lights, right? I, I wanted the light to like reflect on the floor and the controllers just affecting them, you know? I, I wanted to see that light, like trail, you know? So that's why I added this light, area light and the thing about this area light is if you take a look at the shader notes, you can see that it has an emission shader, obviously, and uh, which is uh, like the color of which is plugged into an image texture, which is the same image texture which is applied to the screen of the TV, right? Like the color bars when you have not connected to the TV and like no display input or something. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I wanted as well. So there you go, and I think that adds a lot to the actual image, right? Like. So that's the main light I saw you of this image. And then I just wanted to highlight, like really, you know, separate this game controllers from uh, like the floor. So that's why I added this light, you know, this light above. So that's it. Like the lighting is really simple this in the scene. And uh, yeah, this one, this one was kind of just like, it, it's the value of it, uh, there's, um, Area light is really low. I just wanted to separate this tag and this tag of books right here. So that is why I added that area light. So that out of the way, let's talk about like I have these two boxes here, right? These two boxes. So these two boxes, if I just hide them, you can see it's really empty in the space. So that's obviously the reason why I added these boxes. And another reason for that would be the composition, obviously, which I told you earlier. The lines, you know, these lines pointing towards the subject, right? So yeah, that's another reason. And yeah, I think it works well. And I try my best to focus the least light in this area, because I don't want the viewer's attention to be grabbed on th towards this area or something. I don't, I don't want the, this area to attract the viewer's eyes, so yeah. It's all about lighting and, uh, you know, taking the viewer's attention or guiding the viewer's eyes, which is really important, in my opinion, in the render. And sometimes these rules are meant to be broken, right? Sometimes, like, when you feel like you're, like, that doesn't work, like in your like when you just look at the image and you don't like it and then just do according to your artistic vision man it's all about that right and yeah that's 
it like that's the render like it's really simple but it has a lot of like composition and stuff going on here and i highly recommend you watch the blender guru's uh composition like a video compo about composition that he made you can check it out from the channel i will also link it in the description it's really useful because it uh, teaches you a lot about composition and uh, that's where i learned all of this so hope you found this video helpful and see you in the next one